Hello. Um, I want to give um, my personal condolences to um, everyone and anyone um, that had anything to do with um, the tragedy at the movie theater in Colorado at the um, Batman um, premiere. Um, and for anybody who has been living under a rock and doesn't know what I'm talking about, um, in Colorado, um, somebody who had his hair colored red, like the Joker from Batman, he uh, brought a brought in gas and cans and, and a gun in the, uh, a movie theater at the premiere of The Dark Knight uh, Rises and just started opening fire on everyone during the movie and said he was the Joker or something like that. And um, I believe 12 people died and about 58 were injured and uh, one of the victims, I think one of the victims was a three-month-old baby and one victim was a six-year-old, uh, six-year-old, I don't know if it was a girl or a boy. But um, yeah, I um, I just wanted to um, just say that I give my condolences and, and uh, pray for you guys over there in Colorado. I know you guys have been through enough after Columbine and everything. And um, I also wanted to say that um, to the media, to Hollywood, to whatever, I don't know, TV, internet, video games, Whoever has anything to do with, has any power in the media, this, no one is saying that this is all your fault, but everybody should take responsibility for the parts they play in everything. And I know that, you know, people have always, like, murdered people, you know, throughout the history of our humanity, because, especially in America, this is a very violent country. But, the media does have an effect on people because perception is reality and, it, and also the media raises a lot of kids because their parents are at work. And you did not have, I mean, before Columbine, there was no other school shooting uh, with teens or young people. The only school shooting before Columbine in 1999 was um, University of Texas in 1966. So at least according to, um, you know, the, you know, the documented research that I did. You know, why is it that, you know, all these, 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 you know, shooting sprees with all these young people, you know, progressing more and more in, uh, you know, the late 90s and 2000s, you know, it's, it's, it's accumulating after, you know, we have all these violent video games and movie fantasies of people, you know, just crazy shooting people, you know, and I don't mean like revenge killings where they're just shooting people that they personally know you know or somebody who did them wrong i'm talking about just shooting random people like just snapping like or you know going on like a like a like a fantasy like a, a evil fantasy you know we didn't have that we didn't have little kids you know giving each other blow jobs at their schools and you know just getting wasted on drugs middle class kids and people watching kids you know kids watching other kids getting brutalized and beaten to death or raped at school or at parties instead of calling 911 they're videotaping it and laughing you know with their phone we didn't have that back in the day years ago I mean, granted we had other things like you know slavery and women's oppression and racism we've always had problems but I'm talking about the media's effect on the youth and on the generations and on people who have problems because People, you know, you're always going to have crazy people, you know, people who are like on the edge, ready to just, just jump off, you know, but before people used to like, you know, they only snapped on the people who did them wrong or they only snapped like in private, you know, they imploded or committed suicide. They didn't just go on random shooting sprees like, ah, ha, ha, look what I can do. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, just, it wasn't like that, you know, this was like a newer kind of, um, Thing where people just go off just randomly shooting random people and that's you know very um, concerning and, and all these things that's going on with the kids doing you know like oh I want to be like Paris Hilton's sex tape and the Kardashians and show my ass and you know hey baby you know I want to you know do this and do that and you know be a slut and you know and kill people and <laughs> I, 
know, you know, laughing at, at blood and guts and gore and violence. And I mean, I am guilty of some of that too. Like, you know, I'll see South Park and watch some kind of, you know, blood and guts and start laughing. But I mean, like, you know, usually they do it in a way where, you know, it's funny. But I, I mean, like, they're making fun of it to a certain degree. You know, they're, they're like a parody. Everything they do is like, it caters to both smart people and dumb people all at the same time. So then the South Park is a whole other thing. I'm not, they're, they're not responsible. They're actually, they actually try to help a little bit because they kind of make fun of what's wrong in today's society. So I am not, you know, condemning them. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, we, we all are kind of numb and desensitized to a lot of things. We're, we're, we, we are de desensitized to brutality against other people. We're desensitized to sexual perversion in our society. Everything gets getting mainstreamified. Even drugs. It's not supposed to be like an in thing now. You're supposed to want drugs, or at least pot. That's supposed to be the okay drug because, you know, that one, you know, doesn't like completely screw you up like cocaine does or something. You know what I mean? But it's still a lazy way out. You know, it's still, it's still whack. It's still, it's still a loser thing to do. You know, unless it's, you know, medicinal, you know, but you know, but that's my point though, like, you know, media has a strong power, like, why do you think so many girls want to, you know, be anorexic and bulimic and, and look like Barbie, why do you think, because the media kind of tells them to, like, oh, you're not pretty or good enough unless you are skinny as a post with big fake boobs, you know what I'm saying? You know, and guys are get, get get feeling like, oh, if I'm not, you know, super rich and if I don't lose my virginity, then I'm not man enough for a woman because that's what the radio says and that's what TV music videos and things, you know, the TV shows are telling me, like, you know, or the movies or whatever. Like, that's, we are conditioning people, brain brainwashing people, mind controlling people, basically. Like, you know, even if it's not a, you know, a really, 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 like, you know, concentrated thing, like, when you get that stuff every single day and you grow up in it and like you may not even know anything else, it, it conditions you to think a certain way, to think there's certain things that I'm supposed to be or ways that I'm supposed to act or whatever. And you know, you can't wonder what's wrong with the generation if you're part of the problem. You can't be like, oh, I wonder what's wrong with kids today. Well, you are part of the reason of what's wrong with kids today. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, these things need to be addressed. and. I just think that it's time that somebody just stood up and said, look, we know that everyone's responsible for their actions in terms of the direct people involved. Like, if you did a crime, you're responsible for that. Your parents are responsible for, you know, maybe you turned on out not so great. You know, lawmakers could do more in certain ways. But media, seriously, it is time you looked at yourself and it's time that we boycott some of the stuff that you push towards us because I'm really sick of you destroying my generation and society like you are you and and all this whole like you know we didn't do it we had nothing to do with it you didn't do it okay but you know you're like a puppet with strings you know and when you kind of puppet you know puppet society and then you have people who are weak-minded who are a lot of weak-minded people especially young people and people who are crazy you got young people and crazy people who are going to do whatever it is you push in front of them and if you don't like you know have some kind of integrity or respect for yourself and what you're doing then you know when you sell yourself to the devil you are selling your children to the devil as well you are selling the future of our country <laughs> to the devil too it's not just you all right so you may think it is because you know all you see is uh, you know cash money cash money but people need to realize that what comes into your mind every day has a lasting effect you know whether it's you know the video games or the TV show or the music on the radio and you know, that's why I don't even listen to the radio anymore because it sucks so bad now you know it's like I don't want to be conditioned I don't want to get the stupid disease you know I don't want to I don't want to get all that so I'm just saying it's time that we look at this and think about this because it's 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 getting it's getting to be too much. I mean, you know, we're we're having too many shooting sprees and too many kids doing horrible things that even a lot of adults don't even do because they're so bad. You know what I mean? These are kids who are not like, you know, you know, they shouldn't they, they wouldn't if it was 50 years ago they wouldn't be doing it. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying and I do pray for everybody in the shooting that um, you all get through this because you are survivors and God is with you. God bless you all. You're my prayers.